Hi, I'm Ryan Borowski and I'm doing a informative speech. Uh, the information that I'm going to be uh, sharing with you is about uh, the collection of our data. Uh, nowadays, the uh, we use technology constantly and uh, what happens to that? Uh, where does it go? How does it benefit us? The pros and cons of it. Um, big data is a collection of all data. It is, uh, it helps us with our, our medical records. It helps us uh, uh, just collect all the data that, that is available, easy uh, for shopping, um, for statistics, uh, to, to, to better um, purchasing and uh, uh, for consumers and for business owners themselves. Um, presentation, big data and the price we pay to be a modern consumer. A lot of information is, uh, out there, um, and we freely give it. And, uh, some of us don't realize that we're actually doing it. Um, what I mean by freely giving, uh, is, um, doing surveys, uh, you know, doing these little quizzes that you find online. Uh, answering personal questions, uh, even uh, reward cards. Uh, go to a grocery store and they have a card that you scan. It's actually taking the information uh, that you, you've purchased and it categorizes it. It doesn't necessarily say your name bought this, but it does, it does categorize you as in uh, for location and the frequency of purchases. Uh, it also helps with their the the stores um, uh, with restocking. Uh, there are some um, there are, there are sides to it. There are pros and cons. Uh, some of the pros that um, I've discovered uh, it's is is discovery of new products. You can shop around the world. You don't have to be limited to what your uh, stores locally have. Uh, there's um, options in pricing. It's possible that um, product A is cheaper than product B. And uh, so you have a lot of, of pricing options. Uh, also, to another pro is to stay connected with friends and family. Um, that's also something that with uh, this technology that, that's been growing is the, the closeness and the relationships that we are building. Uh, shopping from home in your underwear, on your couch, with food on your lap, it, it, you can shop at any time. You could even shop in the bathroom if you really, really need to. Um, you also have access to banking and bills so that you don't have to physically go and talk to somebody. You can manage and look up um, your yourself and, and you know try to help with your finances. Uh, delivery direct. Uh, you can get something ordered to you. You don't necessarily have to go out and seek it, find it, and just hope that they have it. A couple of the cons, um, giving personal information, uh, your name, your age, your uh, sex, your many, 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 many different things about yourself. You're, you're freely giving us. You have to – con is you have to give more information to – have a better experience and get information. Um, tracking, you the the con uh, on your cell phone, they have tracking devices so that uh, Google can actually see where you are uh, with location, traffic jams. If you look on the maps, you'll notice that the, the line will sometimes be red, meaning that there's traffic delay, and that's all information collected from each individual cell phone. Uh, the idea of Big Brother, the government looking at you, constantly knowing what you're doing, what you're buying, those are some of the some of the cons. These are this is the information that you're that you're giving out. Um, the hacking of your information, medical identity theft. Uh, there's a lot of uh, potential harm that can come from this information being out. Also. Um, returns. If you find a product that, or you get a product that doesn't work, con is that you have to put a packing label, go to the post office, ship it back, hope that within a few days you get a return of something that's not broken. Um, also trying a con would be you're not able to try on items. You can buy a pair of shoes because they look amazing, but not 
fit well. So either you return them or you just have a beautiful thing that sits on your shelf. Um, shipping times and delays. Uh, right now with uh, this pandemic that's going on, shipping times have been modified and I've waited for puppy piddle pads for two weeks because they, were not, they weren't a priority, but I could save money and uh, order them through Amazon and, and be, be okay with that. There's my slide for the pros and cons of the collection of data. Um, the U.S. Commerce Department put out a statement saying that uh, consumers spent $453.46 billion on internet purchases, and that's in just 2017. So that that increases. Um, f just my personal experience from from now, from 2017 to now, I've. I've made many, 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 many purchases online. Actually, I think I go to online first to look at reviews and then investigate the stores around me to see the urgency of, of, of my need. Um, the one thing with collecting data, there's pros and cons to it, is the, I don't know if you've noticed the, get on, get on the computer and you look up something. Uh, let's just say mattresses. And it was just a search. You're curious about prices and sizes and, you know, the shipping. And then all of a sudden you go back to, to Facebook, your social media, and you notice advertisements based on what you looked at earlier. So there's, there's a lot of information that's gathered for you for that personal experience. Uh, the advertisements are geared towards your purchases and uh, towards your your needs and and trying to identify um you know helping you out with your purchases um so it information that's collected is like your search history uh that information is categorized and it's 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 set there um like i said uh on your quizzes and your surveys that you take online they seem like fun games but you're giving them information to to just narrow down the the search of your possible interests so if you do a quiz and you say your favorite color is blue well the next time you go and search for things the first that's going to show up are blue items the the color that you enjoy the number that you enjoy things like that um it also uh collects your purchases transactions online and in person you use your debit card and your information is stored it, it says that you bought a b c d product and it uh it's just categorized. The The idea is to make it more personal, the advertisement to help you out. Um, some fear that this information will actually manipulate how you purchase a product. So for instance, um, I'm in need of vitamins. So ads are going to start popping up saying a multivitamin and I might be swayed to go to a product that has uh, inaccurate reviews or um, tr you know other companies that are paying to manipulate so that you buy the product. Um, another uh, thing that makes that ad the personal advertising experience is the location on your cell phones. So if they know that you visit Target, that you visit uh, your local grocery store, that the advertisements and ads will be based around the locations that you've actually you've actually uh traveled to instead of some random barnes and noble say you haven't been to barnes and noble in a while or you don't even enjoy reading um it would be a waste of time to get those advertisements but if you go to you know a local store that has something then those advertisements uh, would be more applicable um another development from uh, the data collection. Your data goes into this huge database. Uh, every the information isn't necessarily used, but when there is a question or a need, then they can narrow down the search and pull that information to to make it apply to their needs. So, for instance, is uh, facial recognition. Uh, Walmart has spent over five hundred million in developing technology that tracks and uh, creates 
the ideal <laughs> friendly shopping experience. Uh, when you walk into Walmart, and if next time you do, you look up on the walls near the, the doors and you'll see cameras. Those are actually facial recognition cameras. They are, they're, they're collecting uh, your race, your gender, your mood, even your facial expression. So if you're upset at the register, it tracks your that you're upset. Uh, also being, you know, happy. And uh, there's also a loss prevention. So th potential thieves that enter, the facial recognition syncs up with local law enforcement. So if, if you're a, a criminal and uh, you're known to be a, a shoplifter, the facial recognition camera will will alert the the attendants and say in and on their little notepads and say, hey, this is a potential person to watch out for. And then, you know, loss prevention will do what they need to do, but it's just, it's just a heads up. Uh, also, if the local law enforcement is looking for someone, it's a, another way to be alerted. Um, facial recognition has also been used in saving lives, uh, lost children or people with Alzheimer. The, it, it, there are a lot of benefits, but we are freely giving that. We are freely looking at the cameras. There are multiple directions. And uh, some people are worried that, that that's another way for the, the big brother or the government to, to keep track on us. Uh, some concerns are also with hacking of data. In, um, there was a Yahoo hacking in 2013 where 3 billion um, people's information was hacked. It was taken. And then it happened again in 2014 where another 500 million people... Um, also, Citibank, in 2011, there were 360,000 uh, financial data uh, information breach. Um, it was an accident. People, <clears throat> excuse me, did not, um, they weren't alerted to the fact that their information was out there and somebody was smart enough to figure this out and gather the information and they they tend to, to, to sell it uh, for profit, and unfortunately, we are the ones that uh, have to have to deal with the repercussions. It's uh, really hard to go back and change your medical records uh, when somebody has, uh, you know, even Social Security. Uh, the, it has long-term effects, um, but technology is advancing. When things like this do happen, they they really try to prevent it in the future, and uh, communication has been a, a really big, um, a key in developing. So, in closure, I am for and against data collecting. Um, I enjoy privacy. I enjoy uh, an anonymity. I, en I enjoy feeling like I have free will. Um, but at the same time, I don't mind giving my information, my likes, my dislikes, and uh, so that my shopping experience could be cheaper, quicker, and I get the products that I want. I, I <clears throat> instead of being satisfied with what I find at Walmart and compromising, I can get exactly what I want. I just have to wait for uh, it to be delivered. Uh, so. Even if you're for and even if you're against, uh, this information is being collected and has been collected for a very long time. And not a lot of us know about it. Not a lot of us are feel like we're affected by it. And the few that have been affected by it do the research and they do find out that everything is being recorded and it's being uh, brought to these large databases and collected and used and sold and i just wanted to bring it to everybody's attention because now that the world is having um the availability of using a cell phone it does make a difference and it uh we need to just stay informed and and understand instead of freely just you know doing what something asks a program asks so thank you for your time, and I hope that this uh, 
started some spark in either your mind or imagination to go research it yourself and to be aware of the pros and the cons of giving out your free information. Thank you very much.